Today, it's all about points gone bad. I had a bit of a, an issue with part of my track, which actually was around the points. Now, the funny thing is, and I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm still having a bit of a laugh at myself because I was so focused on the tip of the frog and on those set of points that I had totally totally overlooked that I was missing one of those guardrails. So what I'm going to do is take you over there and sort of take you through what I did to fix the issue. And the funny thing was, it wasn't the only one that I'd come across. But anyway, more about that very shortly. So now I'm actually going to take you over and sort of show you what I did to fix the issue. So as you can see here, this was the points that was in question. Originally, you know, I thought I'd handled it roughly and I was concentrating right on the tip of this frog thinking it had been pushed down that way. But in actual fact, as you can see right there, I'm actually missing a whole guardrail on one of the sides. So as the train was traveling up this way, obviously it wasn't pulling the train over there to take this path and then it was derailing. As you know, I've been doing a whole bunch of track lanes, so I have lots of spare track. I've taken an existing piece of Code 83 rail, and what I've done is cut it to length. I've bent it slightly, as you can see there, and then what I've done is just basically gone in and slotted it into the arms and fastened it to the track. What that actually means is I've sort of taken it in here, slid it, into the grooves along here, each of those, sort of lined it up how the other one is to make sure it's correct. And that looks pretty good. The track is, is this type of colour that you can see here and I wanted it to match this dark brown over here so got the burnt armbar and just sort of painted. What this also does is instead of putting a dab of glue of course the paint when it dries it will actually fix the rail in place as well so it'll act like a bit of glue as well so it won't be moving and going anywhere in future now the interesting thing was this wasn't the only one also I'd come across this crossing and also had another one missing so I had to do the same thing uh, I got a an existing piece of rail from my uh, collection of offcuts uh, cut it to size, did a slight bend and sort of slid it into the grooves, painted it and away we went. Now that then sort of triggered me to go around the whole layout and check out every set of points that I've got just to make sure I wasn't missing anything else. Now at this stage it was only really the set of points here and this diamond crossing here. Everything else around the layout was in place and nothing further was missing. So what I've also have done, not only was I looking for uh, missing guard rails but I was also looking for loose guard rails and what I'd found also down at this end these were also a little bit loose so again what I've done I've grabbed my paint and obviously these don't need painting but I've just used the paint around where they join just so it holds it in place now if I do find in the future that the paint doesn't hold it well I'll come in and sort of touch it up with some glue. So I've just sort of dabbed the paint on there just to help to hold those in place. So there you go. Now that you've seen what I totally overlooked, I tell you what, <laughs> if I continue doing that stuff and overlooking really simple stuff like that, I think it's time for my retirement to be honest with you. So just as a bit of a lesson, I think, you know, when you go and order and you sort of get delivered your new points or your turnout depending on where you are in the world and what you want to call them it's probably always a good idea to check out not only that the points move freely but all the parts are there and they're actually fixed look I can't really explain that some of those guardrails were a little bit loose and obviously with the vacuum I've probably pushed it off and sucked it up so I'm probably sitting over there in my vacuum cleaner no doubt I'm not sure if you've noticed but I've sort of upgraded a few bits and pieces so I've sort of upgraded my sound I've upgraded some of my lighting I don't know if you noticed but hopefully it doesn't make my face look too fat your ass looks fat mm -hmm.